started um, thinking about the title for this book, we, we had a lot of fun playing with all of the um, alliterative names we could come up with. So we, we thought children might pause and ponder. Hesitate and hypothesize. Um, they, they went on and on and mostly got worse. We had a page of them. And, they, were, they were very good. And um, so we eventually decided what we really wanted them to do was notice, and we wanted them to take note of what it was they had noticed. And then we began to realize, as we watched children um, with these lessons, that what they really were doing were, was reading closely. They were going back into the text. They were re-examining a passage over and over again. They, you can watch them. They'll point to it. They'll turn back pages. They'll grab their buddy and, and put something, you know, notice a, a sticky note right there. So that the close reading they were doing matched exactly what emerged at the same time, though there was no plan, through the Common Core State Standards in saying we really have to create kids who can go off um, to college or ready for a career, able to do close reading. Um, we happen to think that you become a close reader um, through habits you develop internally more than um, through a series of questions that teachers might take you through. We think that teaching students the habit of mind of recognizing particular things in a text and stopping and saying to yourself, well, what does this mean and why is this happening and um, how does this affect my understanding of the tale and how does it affect me it is critical. So the close reading is what happens as students are noticing and noting. Because it seems to me that the essence of close reading is that you grow attentive to a passage, a detail, a, a pattern that you see in the text. And the closeness is in the focused attention and the effort to understand what effect it's having upon you, that, that technique or that observation you have, what effect it's having upon you. Um, attentive, focused, thinking about why the writer might have structured things as he has done them. Focused, attentive uh, concentration on why the character might be behaving as he's behaving. Um, the closeness is in the well, the closeness is in the engagement, it seems to me. Unfortunately, some of the efforts to get kids to read closely disengage them. When I took those kids that I had in my 12th grade English class through my carefully structured lesson that led them from the petunia and stanza one to the rosebud and stanza three and the cactus flower and stanza five, and thus the poet's observations were these, uh, I thought I was doing close reading with them because I was taking them through an intense analysis. But what I had neglected was they weren't attentive, focused, and engaged, uh, except insofar as they submitted to my control. The essence of close reading is engagement, is caring about what you're reading, caring about yourself, caring about your reactions, caring about the ideas, caring about the characters. And if, if we can get kids deeply engaged, they will read more closely. If they read more closely, they will read more rigorously. If they read more rigorously, they will meet the standards the Common Core has set for them to meet. Mm -hmm.